In this video, we're going to look at working with normal maps in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this uh, video, I'm using the Robot and Pilot 01 scene as an example. So I'm going to start by uh, hiding the magnifier glass and also the cube. And we'll just take a look at the ground here. And I'm going to go into uh, Octane Materials, Node Editor, and let's select that ground shader. Let's see if we can find it here. Here it is. And let's set the type. I'm going to Basic, and I'm going to set Material Type to Glossy. Let's uh, reduce that specularity a little bit. Bring up the roughness. And maybe bring down the diffuse. It's just the value on the diffuse, make it nice and dark. So there we have our ground. So uh, I'm going to create an image texture. We can leave it at the default. So the default type is normal, meaning it's an RGB image, even though we're using this for a normal map. So try not to get the terms confused. Uh, so it's just normal, meaning RGB. And I'll leave the channel format at half. This is a 16 bit image. And I'll click on the file button here. And I want to find under gravel textures, gravel normal.png, this file right here. Copy it to our local project directory. And then I'm going to connect it to the normal map. And you can see here it is. It's a little bit on the extreme side. So let's do a couple things to. To work with this a little bit one thing it's a bit large so i'm going to click on uv transform expand the uv transform settings and scroll down a little bit and let's set the scale down to something like 0.014 maybe a little bit higher than that Point one five. that's okay so if we take a look here there's our gravel material. Um, if one thing we notice is that it actually looks more like divots and craters than an actual gravel texture. It's been reversed. So a lot of times normal maps when you're using Octane uh, for Cinema 4D, you need to reverse the green channel of the normal map in order to, for it to render in the correct direction. So um, let's first, let's create an image texture here. And I've already created a normal map with a reversed G. So I have this image called Gravel Normal G Invert. I'm going to choose Open, copy to my project directory, and plug this into Normal. And you can see, well, of course, we need to also change the transform here. So what I have on here, 0 0.158. Let's we'll set this to 0.158 so that we can kind of compare. So you can see here, the uh, the rocks look like they're sticking outward in the right direction. So I created these uh, normal maps using substance. So if you create a normal map, uh, you need to reverse the, cha the uh, green channel and you haven't done it in the creation program, you can always take the image into Photoshop and then go to channels, select the green channel and choose image adjustments, invert and then save that out. I usually save it with a different name so that I know it's the uh, image that has an inverted green channel. So um, if you're experiencing an issue like that where the normal map looks like it's reversed, give that a try. That should fix it. Now you'll notice Octane materials have both a bump and a normal channel. If you want to use a bump map and a normal map together, the preferred method is not to connect them both to the same material, but rather to use a mixed material. So let me show you how you can go about doing that. So I'm going to create an Octane mixed material. And let's create another Octane glossy material here. So under basic settings, I'll set this material type to glossy. And under diffuse, I'll set the value fairly low. And bring up the roughness. 
and let's create an image texture. And I'm going to set the type to float since this is a grayscale image. And then I'm going to find that gravel height image. Copy it to my project directory. Let's put this into bump. And let's go to UV transform. I'm going to set the scale of this to say like 0.5 so that it's like large bumps. So let's connect this to the mix material. I'll do this one into material two, this one into material one. And then find that plane and apply this material to that. So apply to objects. So you can see now we've got, if I go to the uh, mix material and adjust the amount, the amount is set to zero. So if I bring this all the way up to one, then we're getting that uh, glossy material that has the normal map connected to it. If I bring it all the way to zero, then we have the glossy material that has that bump map applied to it. And then anything in between mixes the two together. That's the best way to blend normal maps and bump maps in the same shader. So that's some of the basics of working with normal maps in Octane for Cinema 4D.